Okay, this little uh, so-called milling table, very attractive. It only cost about 30 bucks or so, shipping included. And it's, uh, let me just show you how this thing works. If you want to turn this thing, it's almost impossible unless maybe if you loosen, loosen the gibbs. Okay, now let's see. Oh, look at that. It turns smooth. Oh, oh, but look at this. Look at the wobble in this thing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's. You know, that, now that I've loosened up, it is so, so wobbly. It's pretty good this way. But this bed, and maybe it's because it's so long. It's moving a little bit over there. Well, let's tighten it down and let's play with it and see if we can adjust it up a little. Actually, you can tighten it down pretty well. It's still pretty wobbly, pretty loose. So although it's, uh, I would consider not bad, it's not great. Let's see if we can make some improvements to this thing. I think that can be done. Um, first of all, I don't need this big of a bed. It's, it's completely unnecessary. I can do with half of this, no sweat. I'm not gonna be moving anything very far with uh, the little grinding machine I'm going to make. So I'm going to I'm going to cut this and I think that will help with some of the play in the thing and see what we can do. All right, here's the final result. This is the new and improved milling table. Actually I don't think I actually made any improvement to it, but I did make it less noticeable. The, the wobbliness is uh, not as noticeable and of course you can adjust up the gibbs. It's not that bad. I don't think I would want to use it for any serious milling, but for what I'm going to do, it's probably going to be fine I'm using it with a little Dremel tool. So we'll see. Here's what I cut off. A piece of bolt and a hunk of extruded aluminum might come in handy for something. So now I have a nice little convenient XY table. Still a little wobbly there, but uh, it'll probably suffice. Take a little cut and see what happens.